Some of the highlights this trip would have been the, the varied landscapes. So we started down in Kerry, down the Ivor Peninsula, and we started down there in the red sandstones and it was beautiful bogs as we crossed over the Old Kenmare Road. We work our way down onto the Bearer Peninsula, and the least traveled of all the peninsulas in Kerry. And then when we switched it up to here, we came to the Burren, the, the karst landscape, the beautiful Rocky Mountains, all the delicate flowers you find among them. And then today we were at the coast walk out along the Cliffs of Moher. So again, a completely different area, all within a short distance of each other. The landscape, it's, it's called a wilderness, but it's a cultural and historic landscape. Nowhere in Ireland do you find untouched by man, but the last man to touch it could have been four and a half thousand years ago. So it's very easy as you wander through the landscape, you'll see abandoned villages, you'll see ancient monastic settlements, you'll see ring forts that are a thousand year old. And so it's very easy then, it brings up the folklore and, and storytelling naturally in it. I mean, the landscape is its own story. We chose this trip because we wanted to explore the west coast of Ireland and get a nice balance of adventure and culture. Wilderness does a fabulous job of accommodating their guests, providing wonderful hotels, food, and traveling adventures. The guides are extremely knowledgeable. I enjoyed learning so much more about Ireland that I knew previously. Our guide was well-rounded in terms of his knowledge of flora, fauna, culture, and history. There are a lot of different things that you can do in Ireland. It's best to focus in on a few areas and do it well. And I think wilderness provides that opportunity for us. We were able to see parts of Ireland that not many tourists see. For me and my wife Alice, that's what we look for. We look to get away and get out and see parts, you know, most people don't get to see. I mean, locals do, but tourists don't. The hikes themselves were challenging, but, you know, being 67 years old, they weren't to the point where, oh, I can't do this. It, it was really a, a trip for a lot of people. We would absolutely consider another wilderness trip because we enjoyed our, our past ones so much. Um, they're all different. You know, you have a different dynamic depending on your group and depending on who your guide is, but every experience that I've had has been positive and so enjoyable and we've had long-lasting memories and I didn't have to drive. <laughs>